I do, I do know, I think I had had, you know, I don't want to ruin his shot, but I had had some information that that was happening before. But I happened to be in Oklahoma City last night when that news broke, and someone, Joe, hit me and just said, hey, uh, Fred Ross is out. And I started looking around me, saying, I'm going to sneak out the back door to get out of here right now, because uh, there were certainly some Cowboy fans in the audience last night. So, uh, But, um, you know what, no, I, I don't know. I mean, I think it's... Uh, I don't know if it'll add more to it. I think that's going to be just a fun game anyway between uh, you know between our teams. Did you say it's a different so, quarterback, Dan. What, what did you like about Gabe Miles as far as the defensive back? Well, I mean, obviously, you know, he's a winner. Um, you know, and, and I think you saw that at different times this year. I mean, when Starkville High School, the game was on the line, he made all the plays. Um, you know, and obviously he's a phenomenal athlete. So, uh, again, we, we project him playing corner. Um, I made that mistake with Jamie on Lewis a couple years ago. He ended up playing receiver. So, you know, when you project these guys, it's hard. But obviously, you know, I we think he's a, he's a very very talented athlete. Um, you know, and a guy that you know when the game's on the line, he's making all the plays. That's the type of guy you want on the field for you. How about Ashton Shumpert, the you know the kid from Inouye HS? His size and speed. I mean, he's got everything there. He does. You know, I mean, we you know I think I'm, I mean I think he has the ability to play both ways probably. For us, you know, I mean, there are a bunch of different positions he could play. We're, we're going to look at him playing tailback for us, um, you know, and we're really excited about that, him being the tailback of the future for us. And, uh, you know, all, I mean, since really, I mean, since day one, he's been the number one tailback on our board. When you look at what he brings to the table, not the, the, his size and his physical ability, but he has the, 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 the foot quickness um, to make people miss, uh, but even more so the mindset. You know, uh, when you talk about the respect he had of other players down at the Mississippi-Alabama game, you know, I mean, that's something when you talk to those guys, say, hey, well, you know, who do you respect, who do you like down there? And say, well, that Ashton Shumpert's a worker. You know, that's what fits into our program. You know, I mean, we, we tell these guys, really, guys want to come in and work hard, develop, to become the best that they can be. You know, and that, uh, you know, I mean, even though you might not be the most heavily recruited guy in the country four years later, you're winning the Thorpe Award. And, um, you know, because you're, you're willing to outwork people, those are the type of guys that we want. With a dozen guys on the 20 man list being outside of Mississippi, is that kind of the next step of your program that you kind of talk about is we can go into Georgia and Texas and yeah, Florida and get some kids? You know what? I, uh, not the next step. I, I think, you know, certainly I think all the other schools in the state are making a, a much more concerted effort to recruit the state as well. And, uh, you know, and I. I I think that's fantastic. I think, you know, I mean, it shows I mean, we've had success doing it. And, um, you know, so I guess, uh, you know, imitation is a great form of flattery, you know, to come and say, hey, let's try to get more kids from the state of Mississippi. Um, but I also think that the success that we've had over the last couple of years has certainly helped, given us a lot better name recognition um, throughout, really, the southeast. Did you see a difference in this facility having available and showing it to kids as they came in that maybe you didn't have in past years? I, I think it'll probably have even more effect next year. You know, I think the kids in this year, you know, most of those kids had kind of made a decision up by the time that we were actually in the building and they, you know, they got to um, come in to see the finishing tug. We still haven't even finished, we're still not even finished exactly, you know, with, it, we're still getting some things done. So um, I, I, I think, though, what it does, not just this year and next year, with not just this facility, the stadium, uh, they see the commitment that um, that Scott uh, Strickland and Dr. Keenum have made to the athletic department and especially the football program for us uh, to continue to compete and, uh, and fight to find a way to get a championship here in the Southeastern Conference. There was a lot of in-state offensive linemen that were really good. Just talk about the three guys that you were able to sign from there. I'm really excited about him. Jake, you know, Jake Thomas is uh, – I, I was joking earlier. I mean, I've been recruiting him since I got here, and uh, you know, I, I first time here. David Turner come in and say, "We got to get this lineman in Columbus." I said, "Great." I said, "I think he's in eighth grade right now." And he was playing for them. I'm like, "Holy cow!" So I mean, every year Jake would come over in the spring. I'd be like, "Is, you know, is this it?" No, coach, only a sophomore right now. I'm like, "Holy cow!" Man. I'm only going into my junior year. So I'm like, "All right," um, but we've been on him, on him for a long time. Um, you know, obviously has played a lot of football. Uh, has that experience, had that size early on, um, but also for his size, I think one thing that helps him is, you know, he's been big for a long time, so he knows how to move his body. He's adjusted to being a big man and, and can move his feet. And, uh, you know, on top of it, it's a great student. And uh, really excited about having him in. Uh, Jamal Claiborne, same way, you know, I mean, a guy that is a, uh, you know, what, what I believe in the program is a hard, hard worker. 
know, you look at him, takes advantage uh, of his opportunities, you know, I mean, he's uh, already telling me about, you know, hey, I'm down this weight, I'm checking my body fat, I'm, I'm working, I want to come in, I'm ready to go day one. Um, that type of energy enthusiasm, you get really excited about. Ken Flowers, who playing smaller school football, you know, playing out at, um, in Hollandale Simmons is a guy that I think has a really bright, bright future against him, uh, ahead of him. You look at his athleticism, you look at his feet, um, you know, I've been talking again, you know, I, I like to trust a lot of the high school coaches talking to the Mississippi-Alabama game. I said, wow, you know, he, he's got some really good raw potential, you know, he just, he, he hasn't, you know, completely grown yet uh, as a player, but um, is is extremely athletic, so we're really excited about him as well. With this class coming in, do you feel like you've gotten to the point with the roster where you, you've reached the bounce you've been looking for four and five years? Yeah, we're getting there. You know, I mean, it, it's it, it's never easy to get there. You know what I mean? You're always, I, uh, always different scenarios, different situations are going to uh, affect you and how you take in each class. But, uh, you know, I think now we've... Uh, you know, we've been able to, to get pretty good balance. You, you know, you look at, at some of the depth. Um, obviously, receiver something that's still balancing out of itself because of all those guys that had to come in and play right away as a freshman uh, for us. Um, defensive back still balancing a little bit, but you know, overall, you look at a lot of positions. I think we have some 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 decent depth um, as we move forward. We're, uh, we're a young team. We got 11 seniors next year, so. Uh, we're going to be a very, very young team, and um, but I do think we've created some good depth, uh, and and the, the depth you the type of depth you need to compete in this league. I know you have got a couple of big guys on defense, but the offense really stands out. Two quarterbacks, a bunch of receivers, offensive linemen, Trumper to running back. Do you feel like you're really building something offensively? In this yeah, game? you know, I mean, but it happened like last year. It was all you know. Hey, boy, we had a big defensive class, a smaller offensive class, and. Uh, you know, so I, I, I still think that goes on, and it, you know, it kind of goes from from you know from year to year a little bit how it uh, how it transitions itself. But um, you know, I, when you look at I mean, overall 20 guys right now, that's that to me is pretty good balance for us. You know, I mean, if uh, you know, you look at 20 guys a year is it would, should be about your normal signing class from year in year out. Is this class complete, or you expect maybe a few more guys to come? You know, in? there could be one or two more. Um, things that come up here in the future, um, but um, you know, I don't know if we'll expect much more today or in the next couple of weeks. You could have a little bit more going on, but uh, you know, there's you know, with 20 guys in, there's some room, you know, and we have to, you have to look, you know, you're always checking with our trainers, you know, their potential of medical red shirts, you know, are there guys that you, you know potentially that could end up. I uh, transfer and you hope not, but you know, there's always one and she <coughs> tends to be an attrition guy here or there every once in a while. So um, those are some things that we'll keep an eye on as we move forward. In terms of commitments, would you consider it normal if a 16 or 17 year old didn't know where he wanted to go to school yet and said, hey coach, stay with me, I'm still trying to figure it out? Yeah, you know, I, we, we communicate those. Yeah. I tell guys, hey, if, if you know, if, if it, be honest with us. You know, I mean, we're we're a big honest program. We're going to tell you where you're at, and what we feel about things, and how things are going to shape up. And you know, so to me, you know, I tell a young guy, dude, be honest, be upfront. If you're not, if you like us a lot, you know, say, hey, coach, you're my first choice. I love you. I want to just look around and make sure. And I'll say, hey, you know, that's that's what we want. If we're ever caught in a bind where, you know, numbers are tight, I'll let you know, or I'm going to have to know and let you make a decision at that point, um, or or we move on. But, um, you know, I mean, as far as the, the guys are committed, we tell them, you know, I mean, a, a commitment in, in what it means to what it means to us. You know what I mean? We ask them, because here's the big thing. You know, these guys all signed today. Now, I mean, they're making, a, they're going to make a lot of commitments to this program to be successful over the next four years. I mean, commitments and going to school and commitments and growing, uh, you know, socially, growing spiritually, commitments and growing at practice and commitments and growing as an overall football player on Saturday. So, there's a lot more commitments that have to be made for them to succeed, and we want to make sure our guys understand that. You know, Chris Jones, a lot, of people, a lot of people consider him the number one recruit in Mississippi. Overall, do you like the collection of Mississippi talent you got this year? Yeah, we do. Uh, we do. You know, I mean, it's um, again, Mississippi Mississippi uh, is a fun, great place to recruit because, I mean, you go find. I know, I mean, a lot of people say Chris Jones might be the number one player in the country. Six months ago, nobody even 
Adam Mullen, right? He wasn't on single out any of your guys' individual summer newspaper lists or whatever you all have, but he wasn't really on those lists this summer. You know, and here he is six months later, as a lot of people think he might be the best player in the country. So uh, that's the fun part about recruiting Mississippi, you know. I mean, to sit there and, uh, you know, last night's award to me, you know, because, it, again, I mean, it, you know, I always take this. You know, we'll see how successful this recruiting class is a couple of years down the road. Um, you know, I look at my first recruiting class. Wow, that was a pretty successful class. Wrapping up last night, well, the guy had one scholarship offer in Oklahoma City. We're laughing, there are more people at the banquet than live in Mabin, Mississippi. So, um, you know, in, in Oklahoma there to celebrate him winning the Jim Thorpe Award, the national award. You know, four years ago, uh, you probably wouldn't have projected that at that point. And, uh, but it's great getting out and see the talented young guys are in the state evaluating these players that might not have as much national recognition as other states. Uh, but seeing them come in your program and succeed is pretty special.